Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and here I am with my first LEGO Knights Kingdom uh, Bill of Figures that reviews for Throwback Thursday. And as you recall, I may recall that I did review some of the system sets a little while ago, but and I did oftentimes say that eventually I'll be doing or reviewing the Bill of Figures as well, but here I am now, and let's enjoy. So we're starting out with uh, Santis and Jayco from 2004, of course. So on the front of this canister, which, which as you can see, has both of the logos, but torn off because that's how I got it. But see a picture of the figure that comes within and the name Santis there, and also three game cards included, and on one side Lego logo and. Age recommendation is six and up. Set number eight seven eight five has forty seven pieces. Oh, hang on. Okay, then so on one side, choking hazard, and also these canisters, which kind of in, quite interesting how that is how they are. Which, as you see, look kind of like the tower, bit of a castle. See with the bricks and things in it, and also a little window there, and and also pure hollow plastic like most other ones and whereas the lid the witch which is also like the top of which and has the Lego logo etched into it and a few different holes that you can put lightsaber rods into to connect to little legs or whatever you want onto it which quite interesting how it is but they did continue this to the following year 2005 obviously and also like most Bonicle canisters which is actually a pop-off, but whereas you can just twist it on, either twist it on or pop off. So either way, but and it's quite nice how that is. It works for the back side of which, which advertises the other figures in the wave, and also how to flip the, up the mask and how to dock the shields off for the game and the figure and the caster again. On one side, uh, barcode, and other side, trademarks, and Lego and set number, logo and set number again. And so that's about it with the canister. And now onto the instruction booklet, which same picture, similar picture as on the front of the canister, but of course with a large nice castle like background which and each one had different times of day in each of the pictures and manuals as we'll see to see but also that annoying blue border that all the sets of 2003 and 4 all had but yeah the first page of which is just all the figures minus Matthias there on the back add for the system set some of the system sets and those two of which I did review a little while, while ago, uh, of course, and have out of Lego Club or win for the online survey. And also this, and the back last building steps, and also a little comic strip so with some nice art to it on the, for the storyline of it. So if you want to admire these, pause the video. But also included with one of these, which is actually two of these collectible game cards, which shaped like shields and different stats on them, which did also come in the minifig system sets as well. But yeah, and on the back, so each, each one is a little picture and also a little description. And of course, and, yeah. and why there's a hole in the center, which we'll find out soon.
first of which is probably the most important, Jayco. So these figures of which from first glance, which some may think look almost like that bonicle, but actually instead of being all robotic and mechanical like, they instead have some system bits to them as you can see in the core. And like always with my figure reviews is I just start from the ground up. Okay. And so now for these foot the feet pieces. So, which as you can see quite an interesting look little shoe like of course. They of course represent armor bits over them. And also unlike most figures where they have actual uh, reverse studs on them so you can uh, stick them onto any Lego studded surface or add some like uh, foot accessories onto them of course. And also a little thing with each of these figures is these all have ratted joints which the recent dinosaurs kind of do but at least you know these joints which are kind of frustrating a bit where you have to like worry about the clicking on whenever you move them or pose them. Then, but yeah. And of course, the bits of them are oftentimes the secondary color of them. So like, for Jago here, it is in white. So now, for the upper legs of which, which have some of those interesting kind of uh, uh, plate-like pieces on them. And if and also, a common piece throughout this Knight's Kingdom theme is uh, hard to get off is this little armoring bit to them where it has like two uh, pin bits to it that you can stick onto these little side bits. It's like so. Although you can kind of accessorize anything with them if you want. Then for the upper leg, Oops. which as you can see, same kind of thing to them, but instead have a light gray limb pieces rather than bright blue. And of course, blue is light blue is his color, of course. And then as for the hip waist area, and also the same with the shoulders, is have a bit of gold on them, probably to match with the sword, which I'll go over in a moment. And as for the body piece, which which is just one large block of plastic, one large bit to it. But however, in the center, which is two by four studs to attach certain bits to them. But in this case, it's this little bit and also or two of these and also one like car corner piece or bracket piece to add on to fill that in. But however, the printing of which done kind of bit cool. And then, which on the back side of which has a few reverse studs on there, and uh, also a little gold leaf or lever here, where that you can put your thumb on it, and it makes the arm swish up and down. So I guess kind of similar to that of the first original Bonicle sets, where you like turn a gear on the back, and it makes it swish up and down, of course. But however, instead of like turning a gear sideways, you just push the lever on it. But, and of course, as we go through most of these reviews, you'll see that they all kind of have that. And as for the arms, is have kind of a similar joint piece there. Or with more ratcheted joints on them. And also another, and some more of those on plates on as well. And for the arms of which... Which do look kind of a bit like actual fingers, but instead it's like viewed from two different sides. It's kind of weird how that is. And also these sword pieces, which I do oftentimes see people or everyone use in most Bonicle mocks, of course. And of course this nice gold color and some nice uh, sculpting to it, of course. And for the other side, which, which has the shield piece. 
And whereas since this is the first year shield pieces of these which are like a plastic -y, cardboard type material and quite thin but there is one reason for that is that if you're like fighting each other and hit one off and this little disc piece would fall off but and of course for the game that's insisted with this you can like attach one of these pieces onto as well of course and just knock one off with that and of course these shield pieces were sometimes used as like plating in some of the minifig sets as well but yeah and so now on to the head here so now the heads of which which are comprised of two pieces is just the main heads and also the mask like visor pieces which for Jaco's here in particular looking quite knight like go with and of course two little hinges on the sides which which are just about like that of the masks in Bonicle Generation 2 of course where they slide to the sides of course and whereas for the head bit of which which does look kind of like it's already like a head that's already armored up And also, do you have a traditional? And also have one yellow face print on it, which, which, kind of matching the minifigure versions of them. And, and well, mainly the hair bit of which also like minifigure Jaco, of course. And how these masks attach on is they which attach to those uh, lots there. There, and with that, make them flip up and down just about like the minifig versions of oh, whoops flip up and down like the minifig versions of I and of course then and so for articulation of of Jaco here and probably the same with all the figures of this wave is that well the head can swish swivel back and forth and also the arms can go in and out and move up and down and also the elbows can do sort of the same but no movement in the hands but and of course when posing this arm that lever mechanism can kind of get in the way unless if you click it in certain specific positions and the legs of which also decent amount of movement minus without regardless of the ratcheting movements to them so of course, and also as some say, few people say that they're kind of hard to stand up. Well, unless if you can get them in the right positions like that. Oh, whoops. Went ahead, it was a good enough position and it falls over. I just need to position it a little bit better. Okay, then. and so now that is about it with Jaco. And now on, and now on to Santa's. You see, like he, which is red, and all the name kind of sounding almost like Santa Claus, but although it's just Santa's, just how it is. But and of course, as you see, that so that. The whole build of which is just about the same as the other figure, or as Jaco's, of course. But at least with a few different pieces to lighten things up a bit. And of course, like his main color, red, and also from the ground up. Which, as you see, mostly red, but his secondary color, dark tan. Oh, which, so kind of interesting to see that kind of color scheme working here in the same uh, armor bit as the others do but in red and also do have one of those like uh what are they called racers kind of pieces on there but in red of course and moving up to that a little bit more at that but however 
be like little armor bits to them or actually inside of his legs rather than on the outside of which I'm not sure why that is but whatever and that's where his torso bit or his main torso is which as you see is almost similar to the other or I mean more unique than the others and also like the rest of which has the 2x4 studs in the center and, and of course but instead, in his case you have these little bits that you can add into them and then for his shield of which, which is almost unique than the others instead of where it has the bear on it since it's the main symbol of his uh, provenance that he leads And, but as for the arms of which, quite basic as you can expect. It's like with these couple pieces again, but in red, and also does have and also this sword piece, which has some nice uh, sculpting onto it, and with a couple of uh, pinhole connections. And but otherwise it was a quite cool one which you can definitely use for mocks obviously and and of course on the back is same exact uh, swishing feature as the others do <coughs> and as for his mask or mask piece which just now it's a little bit more unique than the rest of which about how it's like all around it and doesn't have any pointing bits to it but, but I think that's all right but you flip it over and it does have the yellow skin yellow skin tone again but it's but now with some thick scruffle to it of course And for the articulation of which, oh, so also forgot to say on with Jacob is attached by a uh, axle pin there, and also four studs on there, so you can attach different bits onto that, or maybe even like a hole, or add some uh, ball joint kind of connection to it if you wanted. But yeah, and all the artic articulation, same as Jacob and the rest, but yeah. And so now on to the final verdict. Overall, these two sets I think were pretty good for the time. Like plenty of good amount of the get plenty of these Knights Kingdom pieces, but in both red and bright blue. And also they do have unique swords and masks of which and of course and of course different texturing on all that. But Jaco's chest mod of modification to which done quite interesting but I think Santis could have had like a 2x4 tile added on to it to match the rest of his printing but maybe that's just me but yeah and also good working around the color schemes of like blue with secondary color of white and also red with secondary color of dark tan quite good for that and and so now if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.